We are a quarter of the way complete. Okay. Do we want to try to get the metal cap star or no? Uh, no, we can come back. But we will right. get the secret star up here. Oh, I'm, I always pick the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. I got the lower ones. Topper ones. All right, it's a race then, I see. Oh, but I have corners. This isn't fair. <laughs> <laughs> As a kid, I was... I remember I tried to get 100 coins in here, thinking maybe you'd get a star. And then there wasn't enough coins. <laughs> I win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a race to get to the middle. Well, now now I have a lead, so. <laughs> so I, I guess since there's Mario and Luigi, it should be noted. I don't think they have different stats though. It's not like Luigi jumps higher or something like that. No. That would be interesting if there's like at least an option for that. I don't think so. Uh, I believe all the stats are the same and. Unless I'm crazy, I'm pretty confident none of the toads on floor one have stars, so we don't have to talk to any of them. So. Are we doing the backyard or are we doing Boo? Or sorry, oh. are we doing Bowser? <laughs> are we doing Bowser or are we doing Boo? Um, coin flip? Coin flip? How do we do that? Or do you have a coin? I have a coin. I'm going to do a coin flip. Okay, we'll trust you on it. Heads. Heads. What and my mean? option's Bowser. <laughs> what does heads mean? Heads means Bowser. All right, we're doing Bowser then. All right. We probably should have figured that out before I flipped the coin. <laughs> well, I mean, I called it, and then my plan was Bowser, so it worked out. How many people tried to get to that picture at the end of the hallway when they were a kid? Me. Well, me. Cause I love that about is... Mario. Like, Mario 64, I mean, then you have the L is real thing. Like, there is just so much playground lie bait. Like, it's it's. it's oh unreal. my gosh. With this game definitely is. I'm going to make this red coin so much easier to collect. Thank you. <laughs> I touched the switch, but it wasn't enough for it to go down. There we go. Because you normally have to run back to get that red coin, and it can be difficult. So let's take advantage of the fact we're playing two-player. <laughs> I went right through that fire. But Miles Luigi, how will we ever beat this level without having unlocked the metal cap? It's like the <laughs> world, world's most useless metal cap. <sighs> So yeah, I definitely is... approve of the way that one-ups work in this game. I think that the whole life system is interesting. And then you can yeah. collect lives to kind of, you know, increase your ability to beat the level on that run, but then once you quit, I mean, they don't really count, but I still like it. It's a modern game convenience. There are no game overs. Uh, it's just two lives for a level. I like it a lot, actually. I don't think that there's anything wrong with game overs. Uh, it's funny because, like, you know, I play retro games, and people say there's no need for score and there's no need for game overs, but it, it is fun to go back and play some older games, see what how, how high of a score you can get, and then getting a game over, even if you have infinite continues, resets that score back to zero. So there is an element of excitement there that I experience, at least, as someone who enjoys more retro games that I guess you know, other people don't necessarily get. And you already got that red coin before I even had the opportunity yeah. to get it. <laughs> yeah, I did. This section is always kind of tricky, though. Let me try to line up a triple jump. Ah, no, I, <laughs> I don't know who got it, but... Alright, I'm losing altitude here. I've this never done working. it that way. There we go. You're gonna... Alright, long jumps work, too. Were you gonna do a <laughs> triple jump? I was trying to line up a triple jump, but I forgot that you can long jump that, so... Until ROM hacks became a thing where literally like every single jump is required to be a triple jump, I hardly ever triple jumped as a kid. Like I said, I always backflipped. That was how I got my height. <laughs> always. Oh hey, you can reflip the switch, nice. <laughs> That's actually fun. Oh no! No! <laughs> Alright, just jump into the, the uh, into the pipe. Will do. Good. How is Bowser gonna work? This is a great question. Oh, uh, I guess the battle just starts, nice. Okay, can I do this? Yes, the PlayStation controller actually makes it nice and easy <laughs> to do this. And I can just watch you. All right. Oh. Okay, well, timing was off. Well, I think with us being two players, it's going to be way easier to grab Bowser's tail because he's going to be focused on one of us, you know? Right. So I the camera's a little him. odd, though. My camera is really weird, I feel, like, compared to yours. Do I have a more normal camera, you're saying? We also have to make sure we don't punch each other. I just used your camera to figure out where I was standing. <laughs> really? 
<laughs> like, look at my screen. How am I supposed to throw this? Let me try to... Ah, there we there go. you go. It, it, that was a weird angle. All right. I said we both tried to grab the key simultaneously. Let's, like, both stand inside it. Oh! <laughs> right. You're pushing me out of it! Doesn't quite work like that. And now we have two keys. Instant upper floor access. <laughs> All right, yes. Indeed. Actually, this key is for the lower floor, not the upper floor. <laughs> no, I'm saying since there was two, one of them could have been for the upper floor, too. I do not think all oh, that's how things work, but I mean, it's a great conjecture. Aw, oh, key doesn't fit. <laughs> and I'm going to force you into the backyard. Ha! Ah. So this is... This is a great chance for me to explain my experience with Mario 64, is that I would always play it at my aunt's and uncle's house, and like my uncle... Wait a second, like, my Luigi, before you do that, you have to come over here and prove that L is real. Oh, that's right! <laughs> L is real! That's right! <laughs> L is here! L is real! There it is! Also known as Eternal Star, also known as a texture that gets reused in a couple of N64 games, so... <laughs> If you look closely at that texture, it's all blurry text, but some people read it as L is real. I wonder if what? I can get a good view of it. It's kind of What's hard. that? L is real and Ocarina of Time? I knew it. <laughs> so, yeah. so many conspiracies on that texture. <laughs> I, I have to wonder who was the guy who made that texture and what did the text actually originally say? I would love to know that. But sorry, I interrupted you telling a story about uh, at your grandparents. Well, actually not grandparents, aunts and uncles, because oh, my yeah. experience playing Mario 64 was entirely aunts, like at my aunts and uncles' house. So it's like every time I went there, uh, that was my time to play Mario 64, because my parents didn't have an N64, so... Huh. I think this will be a really interesting level. I'm actually going to go to a different room with the whole Boo uh, gimmick. Uh, if you're really good with your jumping, you can actually get to the second floor, uh, and we can pick up double stars that way, so... Well, I think once we kill, uh, defeat all the boos, kill, defeat, <laughs> kill the enemy, defeat the enemy, whatever you prefer, um, don't the stairs go up anyway? They do. So then you can just take the stairs up. Right, there's a hole in the grate that lets you, like, jump up really easily. And yeah, if you fall down, uh, you end up exactly where Andrew ended up, down, down into the lovely basement area, where there is a star down there, but I don't think you're trying to go after that star. I don't think you can do it until after you get the first one. Yeah, I don't think so either. There we go. I've made it to floor two. Nice. I mean, now it's going to take you a while to get back upstairs as I go collect another star. That elevator takes a while. It's also a matter if uh, we're lucky and the booze go through the wall, or if like I have to go all the way around to where the other side of that vanish cap wall is. Alright, so the gimmick here is that I have to hit these books in the correct order. It would be nice if the books actually hit. So... And it's been a while since I've did it, since I did the books in the wrong order at first. Thankfully, not too hard. Alright. Is there a way to lure them through here? Oh, yep. Yeah, that should probably help you with all the boo hunting, because you also have to fight the big boo at the end, too. Ah! Going for that red coin to get some health was not a smart idea. Uh-oh. Oh, well, there's big boo. Oh. <laughs> now I have to try to get to the next floor. I can't see what I'm doing, so kind of winging it. I guess, uh, what button do I have set up for the Mario camera now that I think about it? It would be regular R, a button that I've accidentally pressed many times. <laughs> Maybe I should have stuck up by the star, because now you have to wait for me. I'm worried about you having to wait for me. By the time you get up there, I could run to where your star is. Oh, that's right, the stairs appear now! I don't <laughs> this convenient this invention called the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> no wall jumping uh, required. No wall jumping required. I do have to make sure I don't actually pick up the star. There we go. Nice. Yeah, this is a stage where because it is like indoors and enclosed in a lot of areas, if you know what you're doing and can work around the camera, you can actually do a lot of sequence breaks here. Uh, but let's get rid of speedrunners. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one, go! Oh no, I missed it! I missed it! No, okay, no. thank goodness. Okay, okay, all right, good. <laughs> like, that camera <laughs> angle was awful. Oh my gosh. <sighs> that heart pacing moment where we're like, we're both going after the star new. No. When it's we'll the end of the star. world because you don't collect two stars at the same time. 
Anyway, uh, the reason why I brought up my aunt's and uncle's house is because this area and this star, I didn't get to till like after TikTok Clock and Rainbow Ride because I didn't realize there was a back of the castle. <laughs> huh. So I don't know how I missed it all this time. Also, that was kind of funny. <laughs> you hit me so on this, the way into the mansion. So this was actually the last course I ever saw in Mario 64. And it's like a big, like, I guess, shock to see that. Oh, this is the last course. It's the, you know, scary course, you know. That's that doesn't affect really as you as a kid, so... All right, where uh, are the other stars located again? So you did this one. Someone yep. needs to go down and defeat the boot carousel. Uh, why don't I do that? Um, okay. There is also... Jeez, I'm trying to think of what stars you could do. Probably red coins, because defeating the boot carousel gives you coins. It does, although uh, with the red coins, just as an FYI, we might as well do 100 coins as well. Yes. Kill the scuttle bugs. Which That's right. I Otherwise, there's the boo on the roof. And, oh yeah, we need Vanish Cat for one of them. Oh yes, no! We do. I fell. I guess oh, I'm doing fell. the carousel. If it wasn't for Pat and Cook, I would not know the name of the Scuttlebug. <laughs> <laughs> but how can you know if it's uncommented? Or is that... Am I thinking of the wrong YouTuber? I think you're thinking of the wrong YouTuber. I'm talking about the guy who collected Watch for Rolling Rocks and half an A press. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now I gotta deal with this annoying music. We're sorry, everybody. I gotta get this red point again. In before copyright claimed by Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Miyamoto's favorite song. He's like, Sticker Star should have only had this as its soundtrack. <laughs> You're going to take away the one redeeming factor about Sticker Star, which is its music, and replace it all with this? Oh, that would be evil. You do realize if you die, you're probably going to be stuck in the bubble. Got it. Alright, well, I got a bit to go, and it'd be a really long trek for you to go back upstairs, so... I don't know if you want to run around in the basement to try to find more coins. Mm, I really don't think there's any more coins in the basement, unless I've just, for all my life, not known about it. Like, is there any in the water? Oh, well, I you can heal up in the water, at least. Yes. But yeah, I don't think there's any other coins down here. I would. My mind would have been blown if there was. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if there's any red coins in here. Well, if there were, you got them. I so. did get that one, yes. All right. The Luigi cam in my case, <laughs> so... Red coins you might not have gotten are in the room where you wall jump to the to the roof. Okay. And there's, there's also, also some under these room, coffins. Which is where I'm headed towards right now. These ones here. Five, okay. Six. Uh, Part of me wants to come up and help, but I know the second I get up there, you'll be done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might still come for the heck of it. Oh! Is there a red coin in the room with the vanish cap wall? Like, I know that there's some on top of the bookcases, but on the other side? I'm gonna go find out. Oh, there's a red coin right there. Yeah, so that's one I knew was there. Um, and then one more somewhere. Alright, so best way for me to get this one is to do that jump. Thankfully, I've gotten really good at that jump. So, and we're definitely getting 100 here. So I can get this blue coin switch. Right, As a kid, go. I was awful at wall jumps, so getting up there was really tough for me. Oh. <laughs> Nicely there we done. Go. So I don't think there's any red coins on top of the mansion, if that's what you're asking. So that's actually no. a great question where the last red coin is right now. I missed the door somewhere. I must have gone right by it. Everyone's probably screaming, Andrew, you went by the door, but I just totally didn't see it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's a great question. Um... I have an idea where it might be. Um, does this room have one? No, this is just booze. Okay. Aha, oh, there it is. It. <laughs> All right, now I have to get back down to the carousel. See, I came up here and accomplished absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh, Look at this camera angle I have. <laughs> wow. It's an awful camera angle. Okay. This is an interesting level for cameras. <laughs> Can I get stuck underneath the elevator? Uh, 
<laughs> never I, I remember doing that as a kid. Oh, oh yeah. Super Mario 64 mystery solved with Andrew and Ryan. <laughs> Can you get squished by the elevator? No. I like how it doesn't even damage you. Like, Thwomp destroys Mario. Elevator? Oh, I got it, I got it. <laughs> I was sorry, I was just me up. Kind of uh, blanking out there. I was right. sort of looking away, and all of a sudden I'm hearing the star thing. I'm like, wait, what? Oh, okay. <sighs> Okay, so we have the one on the uh, big boo on the roof, and yeah, the big vanish boo cap on floor. the roof, and then the one we need the vanish cap for. Yeah. <laughs> that was your turn to get take damage. Oh, we never. Wait, my score is sixty nine coins, but we got the hundred coin star. Okay. Not Same gonna with me. It. Yeah, my my score is sixty nine, but I, okay, very nice. At least we got the star. Who cares if it's a hundred or not? <laughs> so that's that's really details, weird. Details. Details. Ugh, got stuck. So one of us can try defeating Big Boo while the other one tries to do the really awful jump to the roof. Unless there's like a, probably a new st uh, speedrunner way I don't know about to get up there easily. As a kid, it was always really tough though. Is it lagging a little on your end? Yeah, it's pretty laggy right now. I'm making it to the top of the roof. Oh wow, this camera, this camera, this camera. Here we go. No, 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 all oh, that effort. It's, it's not going to carry over. All right, zero coins. Nicely done. Time to go into the basement then. Thank you so much once again for taking the time to check out my content. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing as it helps my channel grow. And I also have a Patreon page where everything that I receive goes towards making the quality of my work even better. So thanks again and hope to see you next time.